All right. So this is the lab, the aspirin lab, which is the final lab in AP chemistry. I have my water bath. It is at about 68 degrees and it's at 2 on the little knob. What I'm going to do is I have 1.5 grams of the salicylic acid in my whey boat here and I'm going to place that into a clean dry Erlenmeyer flask. I'm going to give it a couple of taps. Four mils of acetic anhydride which is located over at the fume hood. I'm going to actually put that in my whey boat in the hopes that I can get all the salicylic acid into the Erlenmeyer flask. Then as a catalyst I am going to add four drops one, two, three, four, four drops of sulfuric acid. This is my rubber policeman, so I'm going to take my rubber policeman. Well, actually, I'm just going to swirl it like this as opposed to the rubber policeman right now. I'm going to swirl my Erlenmeyer and mix it real well. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to, my water bath's at 70, so that's perfect. I'm going to attach my Erlenmeyer with a clamp. And I am going to place it into the water bath that is at perfect 70 and as it slowly heats for 20 minutes uh, it's going to become clear colorless and I am going to wait for 20 minutes and let it heat up and then get back to the rest of it from there. Alright, so 20 minutes have gone by. I'm going to take my sample out of my water bath. I get it off the clamp. You will notice that while it was in the water bath it has become clear and colorless. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go over to the ice bath and I am going to form crystals. Okay, so I am going to put my aspirin into the ice bath and with my I think I'll use my glass end of my rubber, rubber policeman. I am going to stir and I am going to watch for aspirin, crude aspirin to form in my Erlenmeyer. And if you notice, almost immediately. Um, take a look at that. See? That is crude aspirin forming almost immediately. That's about everything I want forming. Get that slightly damp, so I'll give it a few more stirs. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dry off the part. I'm going to get rid of the water bath. I'm going to wipe off my counter. What I've got now is I am going to put my 50 mils of distilled water, cold distilled water, to drive off any excess acetic anhydride. I'm going to put this into my Erlenmeyer and I'm going to stir it. Give it a stir. And I am going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, 
So here's what I'm going to do right now. This is a Buchner funnel, and it works by hooking up to the water system. Put the sink, turn the water on. I'm going to put a little distilled water in there. Get sucked down. I'm going to take my aspirin, and I am going to filter it. I'm going to clean off my rubber police man. You will notice a lot still gets left in the Erlenmeyer. So what I'm going to do is wash it, wash it, wash it, wash it, scrape it, wash it, scrape it. So I wash it out, wash it again. I want every little piece of aspirin Wash it again, including my rubber policeman. I'm going to wash my rubber policeman. I'm going to rinse that out. I'm doing this with cold distilled water. I'm going to wash my aspirin a little bit in there. Oops, I just got messy. Don't do that. Right, here's my Erlenmeyer. There's that. What I'm going to do is kind of give you a view of what it looks like inside. Again, I'm going to take you off my machine and actually give you a very nice view of what the aspirin looks like inside the Buchner funnel. That is crude aspirin. We're going to dry it and we're going to let it sit for a couple of days. And then we're going to reconstitute it into, we're going to purify it in all honesty. We're going to purify it. And when we purify it, after we purify it, we are going to test the purity of it and see if we did a good job in making our aspirin.